All right, we're crossing 9th Street, and it's between 9th and 8th Street on 5th Avenue, and we are coming up to Galaxy Comics across the street here. Uh, looks like it's Old DC. Old DC on the billboard. They know what's going on. They know what's up. They have some Dawn of DC posters right here at the entrance. So let's go inside. All right, right away, they are well stocked. Look at all these trade paperbacks, omnibus, some graphic novels. Looks like some manga uh, mixed in there. They got t-shirts and they have a bunch of statues and statuettes here in these glass cases. Oh, nice presentation here. Really nice shop, nice size, great location. They got some Pokemon here. And maybe I can get a close-up of some of these uh, statues. And uh, there's some action figures to the left here also. Look at all these action figures. And let's go to the back. That's where the comics are. But we are confronted with a wall of Funko Pop. Look at all this Funko Pop. Still going strong. And here are the new books. They got the big two. They got Image. And they got a bunch of indies. They are well stocked. They have every book you could want. All right. They have that Scott Snyder, Night of the Ghoul book is out. They got Rogue Sun, Monstrous, Radiant. All right, cool. And we have um, Junkyard Joe here. They are on, on issue three. And oh, here's the Geiger universe. As I was reading the Geiger, I realized Geiger 5 is the first appearance of Junkyard Joe. So you don't realize it, it's Junkyard Joe is, is not first appearance in number one. It's in Geiger 5. So maybe I'll grab another Geiger 5 to have it. Because I really like that Junkyard Joe. Jeff Johns is doing some cool stuff here. We got some manga behind me, Akira. And we got Berserk, right? The whole run there, it looks like. And we have more Scott Snyder comicsology books. There's clear, kind of like a neo-noir, like a Blade Runner, Minority Report kind of thing. And uh, uh, his Batman is on Legacy issue 900, and this is a store ratio variant. I think that was 20 bucks. And the regular book is so thick, it's like $7 for one floppy. $7. No. There's that Lemire book. That was a cool book, man, when that came out. And here's some classics here, right? Scott Pilgrim action. All right, so how did I get here? You guys want to see a little bit of Brooklyn? I'll show you me walking down uh, Fifth Avenue. We'll check out Brooklyn a little bit. Because uh, I walked over. I happened to be in the area. I was a couple blocks away. So let's check me out coming here. All right, we're in Brooklyn. I'm walking down Fifth Avenue in Park Slope. And we are going to Galaxy Comics. We went to the other one. in uh, was that Sunset Park Bay Ridge border over there. And now we're going to the other Galaxy. There's two shops in Park Slope on 5th Avenue. So uh, let's go check it out. We'll see what kind of books they got, all right? Let's go see. All right, we're back in the shop. I jumped around a little bit. Remember these uh, stray dogs? <laughs> got the tray paper back out. Very handsome addition here. Look how well they put the artwork in there, right? <laughs> and there is uh, some uh, turtles, turtle action. And we have uh, some discounted graphic novels, five bucks. Look at that. Do it, do it! All right, and what else do I want to grab here? This Punisher is great, right? It's uh, but more of a cosmic universe Punisher. It's not so street level. And is that Alex Ross Electra? Oh, should I grab that? He's still doing those covers. Now, here's another Alex Ross, right? He's still doing those covers. They're still around. And here is a little uh, saga action, trade paperbacks. There was Paper Girls over there. Right, Watchmen we got, little uh, Doomsday Clock. Clobber and Tom, I missed it, man. I missed number one, now they're on number two. I don't know, should I, get, should I try to get into it? Should I try to get them? Is it? Uh, it's getting good reviews. Look at this Walking Dead book. Look how thick that is. And it is the original stuff here. It's in black and white, original artwork. And here's the perennial classic. Every, every comic store's got it, man. Got the Watchmen book in here. And that's kind of cool. The Funko Pops are actually put in the comic book covers. Black Panther number one cover is in there. It's kind of kind of cool, right? Flashpoint. That movie's gonna be a banger. All right, and look, they have these cool posters made out of these tins. Give it like a uh, antique feel. It's on these metal sheets. Kind of cool, right? Maybe I'll pick one of these up. 
that uh, Action Comics 1 was pretty nice, right? I don't know, did I should grab this? This Wonder Woman is cool, too. And they have some posters here on the right. Maybe we, we can look at some of these posters. This is a cool idea, right? They made these. He said Tech 27 sold out. They had a uh, detective in here. All right, and look at this. We are back to the lenticulars, just like the 90s. It's the 90s. The 90s. Look at that lenticular cover. And this is a good book. Deceased War of the Undead. Man, it looks so overboard, right? Let's see what cover A looks like. Deceased War of the Undead. Oh, here it is. Deceased War of the Undeads. Here's cover A. Normal looking cover. And we got more 90s. Another lenticular. Look at this. Peacemaker tries hard. Another lenticular. Maybe turn it. Will it do anything? And on the right is cover A. See in there? 90s. The 90s. All right. That was Galaxy Comics, man. Cool. Um, check out the books I grabbed. Come with me. I grabbed like five books. And I got a little uh, tin poster there, right? Pretty cool, right? I like that storefront uh, signage, right? It's kind of cool. All right, so let's check out the books I got. Come with me. All right, we do two books at a time, two books at a time. We are coming at you fast and furious with the content. And we have two James Tynan books here. He is working overtime, cranking out these books. And on the left, we have uh, Blue Book number uh, three, right? I got one and two already. And these are supposed to be based on true stories of alien abductions. Nope. And he's turning it into a comic. And on the right, we have World Tree, right? Number one. And they're saying, I think this was a low print run, and the book became popular, and they sold out. So if you can, your LCS, try to grab that book. I think there was a run on that book they, they were selling out. This is Geiger number five, and I got two copies of it. One's like cover B, and one's cover D, I think. I don't think neither of these are cover A. Uh, but this is the first Junkyard Joe appearance, and I thought I would... Uh, I have this book already. I think I have cover A. But I grabbed more covers of it just for the first appearance of Junkyard Joe. I thought I'd grab some doubles. Cover these other covers are nice, actually. These uh, variant covers. And this is the Ambassadors. We are on issue three already. The Mark Millar book. And he is another guy working overtime. Everything he's putting out is pretty hot right now. He's putting out all quality books. The Ambassadors, right, he has out. He has out nightclubbing. He's got out um, Nemesis, is another hot book. He's got Magic the Order, right, was another book he had out. He's got all quality books out right now. Look at this artwork. He is putting out just high-end stuff here. So many books I got. I grabbed one, two, I grabbed five books. Five books. All right, and I grabbed something else. Let me back up the camera. I couldn't fit it in. I grabbed that tin poster there. This is Action Comics 1 on like a antique vintage uh, poster. It looks so cool. This thing was like 10 bucks. So I think I might hang this on my wall. It looks kind of cool, kind of vintage. And um, I think it was a, a good idea actually, right? If they had some other ones in there, I would have grabbed maybe two more. But this is the only one that I kind of liked. They didn't really have... Uh, maybe that Green Lantern was kind of nice too. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below which ones you think. Uh... All right, so let me know if that was your LCS, if I missed anything in the comments below. Check out my other videos, and I will see you guys next time.